Hey guys, my name is Becca. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am here with another Owls check-in. So this is the last week pretty much. Uh, we have a couple more days of the Owls and then it's over. April is almost over and we're almost going into May. Um, so I'll pretty much talk about the last books that I read in that wrap-up. But I will talk about the fact that I'm reading them in this. But I'll wrap them up in my wrap-up. So... Yeah, we have a lot to talk about because I found out that I haven't really been like checking into my Goodreads and putting that I've been reading books. Like I, I have, but I guess this last week I blanked and like all the books I was reading and like I have finished were still in my Goodreads like at that I was reading them. Okay, sorry, <laughs> friends. Um, So like the beginning, I think it was last week actually. I think I was reading this last week. Hold on. Um, I read Fence Volume 2. I don't even know if I've talked about this. I don't think I did. But yeah, I read this pretty much one sitting. Uh, and I really enjoyed it. It's just a continuation after Volume 1. Uh, it's a fencing uh, sport romance. Or, well, it's, it's a graphic novel about uh, fencing. And we follow these two boys, uh, Nicholas and Seiji. And... They compete against each other and Nicholas loses. Seiji's like one of the top players. Uh, and then they both f um, find out that they're at the same school and they're going to be competing to get in the same fencing club. Uh, and it's like a real, it's pretty, like there's a lot of uh, people trying to get in. So it's stiff competition. And uh, yeah, I, I think they're supposed to be like a romance uh, between the two, I think, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a male male romance, but it's really slow burn, like, they haven't even really looked at each other, like, in that kind of way, um, so I don't know, uh, there's still volume three, I'm still gonna read that, uh, probably next month or so, I don't know, who knows, I might try and fit it in, but I'm still reading a couple books, so we'll see, but, uh, yeah, I, I like it, I gave this four stars, um, it's not my favorite, but I do really like it, and, I mean, it's all about fencing, so I thought that was good, so yeah. Alright, um, so yeah, that one I gave four stars. In my wrap-up, I'll also talk about, like, what fulfilled which owl, because I forgot everything. I know fence, I had fence volume one and two, one was for the hundred and like under 150 pages and one was for the white cover but I'll talk about more about that in my wrap-up when I film that okay I finished Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson this is the sequel to Skyward um it, it pretty much picks up where the last one left off I think it's like a couple months later or something like that I'm not entirely sure but uh yeah we're still following Spencer uh and this book Spencer is on a mission so she's separated from everybody so we're not getting our same characters really we kind of are we're we're kind of seeing them but mostly okay mostly um we're with all these new characters where Spencer's at so that was a little difficult for me uh and this one really focuses on like aliens and sciencey stuff and I'm just like, huh? Like, it really wasn't, like, science-y stuff. But it just, like, because we're dealing with more aliens and stuff like that. That it was kind of hard for me to uh, keep everything together. I really do feel like Skyward, uh, like, this series would be really good on television. Whether or not it's a movie or a series, uh, like a TV series. But it, I think it would be really good. And science fiction for me is really good visually to see. Uh, I really like science fiction shows. Like, I'm a huge fan of Doctor Who. I love Doctor Who. Uh, Firefly, like, I love all of them. But um, reading it is difficult for me at times. This one, this series is better for me than most. Um, but this one, I just really attach to my characters. That I'm like... But I don't get my characters from Skyward, really. I have to deal with these new people. 
I was getting attached to them by the end, kind of, maybe some of them, but, um, yeah, this one didn't wow me as much as Skyward did. I gave this, like, I'm rounding it up to a 4, but it's more of a 3.5, but I'm just rounding it to a 4, so it was still really good. Um, I will say, though, the la the first 50 pages and the last 150 pages were really good, and then, like, the middle 200 were just, like, huh? Like, what? So, yeah. Like, the middle just dragged. But it was also because you're getting to know all these characters in a new place and all that. So that was kind of difficult for me. But I really liked the first 50 pages. And I really liked the, like, towards the end. But yeah. That middle just... It could have been a five star. But... It just... It didn't wow me like Skyward did. I'm still really liking this series, and I will continue on with the next book when that comes out. Yeah. And then, uh, so I finished Lover Reborn by J.R. Ward. Five freaking stars. I love Tor. I love Tor. I love Tor. Um, oh my god, like, this really focuses on Tor and a new person we get to meet. Like, we met this, okay, we met her and like the last book, or the last couple books, I can't remember. I think it was the last one. I'm pretty sure it was John Matthews and Jax's book that we really get to meet her. Because uh, she's she's connected to them, I will say. She's also connected to Tor in a way. So that, I mean, that was good. And Tor is still grieving over the loss of his, Shellen, his wife. Um, and I really like to see him and this woman get together, uh, like, him and Autumn get together. <sighs> I will say, though, that Tor really pissed me off at times, but I understand because he is going through a lot of grief, and it is hard for him, and he was kind of being forced, but not exactly. <sighs> it's hard to really say, um, but I really loved it. I, I thought when Tor started to piss me off, I was like, this is going to be like a three or four star. But he redeemed himself for me by the end. And he really explained himself. And I understood. And then this also, I got to see more of John Matthew and Jax. And, and I got to see hints of uh, Blay and Quinn, which is the next book. And I'm dying for Blay and Quinn. Oh my god, I need them together. So... Yeah, this was five stars. I absolutely loved it. What am I going to say? All right. I read and finished Dragon Bane by Shirley Kenyon. This one, uh, we follow a dragon, uh, dragon shifter, Maxis, or a were dragon. Uh, and his, so he was mated centuries ago and then she betrayed him. And so he left her. Uh, and now, uh, she's back and she needs his help. So, um, and he was also cursed by an enemy. Um, there's just a lot going on with Maxis, I will say. That was one thing that I was just like, what the hell? It wasn't just one thing. It wasn't just two things. Like, there's like so many things going on with him that I was like, okay, can we stop with the revelations and just like... Can I just, uh, get my romance that I want now? Like, I really enjoyed it. I gave this four stars, but because there was just so much happening with Maxis that I was just like, what the frick? It, it literally felt like every 50 pages something new was going on. And I'm like, really? Okay. I should be used to this, but apparently I wasn't. I don't know, like, he's the dragon bane. You'll find out what that means. Um, he, and it's stuff with his, you know, his mate from centuries ago. And then there's a revelation that happens with that. And then there's something that happened, you know, from, like, even long before they met. And then there's, like, and I'm just like, enough? <laughs> I mean, I get it. I'm not, I'm really, I'm trying not to knock it. Like, I get it. Um, but I was just like, there's just too much happening right now, and I need to just, 
I need to process everything before like I get to the next thing. So it was still really good. I still really enjoyed the romance. I still really enjoyed the writing. I love Sherilyn Kenyon. I love her world. And I like the fact that we're getting dragons. Um, so yeah, this is a four star read and I still really enjoyed it. All right. We have one more book to talk about and then uh, that I finished and then we can talk about the books that I'm currently reading. Yeah. Okay. So I read The Arrangement by Robin Harding. This was, um, what's it called? This was on, uh, I think it's Kate, Kate's book date, her channel. Uh, this is one of her favorite books of 2019. And so it was in my bucket and I picked this one and I was excited for it. Uh, this follows Natalie who, um, okay. So in the beginning of this book, she's having, she's having a really rough time. She's in school. Uh, she moved to New York for school to be an art student. And uh, she is rooming with two other girls. And uh, she works at a bar. So school, she's kind of having a rough time. Uh, she's not really able to concentrate. And it's really getting to her. Um, work, there's this guy that really likes her. And she just wants to keep things casual, but she keeps getting drunk and keeps bringing him home. And then there's her roommates that... Really? Sorry if you can hear that. My family is talking. Um, and then her, there's her roommates um, that she feels they're going to be kicking her out soon. So she's really having a rough time. She's not really able to, um, like, pay all of her bills. It's hard for... Because she's on a, a part-time scholarship. Um, so she still has to pay part of her tuition. And um, she still has to pay rent and utilities and everything else. And she's not really making a whole lot. And then stuff happens and she loses her job. So... Uh, one of, she realizes that one of her students, or not one of her students, but one of her uh, uh, classmates in class uh, had the same background as her, but actually has money and wearing, like, designer clothes and, like, doing spa days and all that. And she lives in a really nice place. So she asks her how she did it and finds out that she's a sugar baby. So Natalie decides to become a sugar baby. At first she has reservations, but the money talks and um she you know a, uh the girl Ava tells her that she doesn't have to sleep with them she could she'll get paid more um but really they just want want conversation just to have a drink with a really pretty girl yeah they're older men but you know they'll pay so that's what she does she ends up going on um like these dates but just to have like a drink and some conversation with an older man to get paid uh and she meets gabriel and gabriel okay um in his profile he is divorced and he does state that he has a child uh but gabriel lied he does have a child but he's still married and he because his wife had breast cancer and um is not like sexually active and you know doesn't have the energy for him at night he feels it's his right to cheat the minute i found out about that i almost dnf'd it but the okay the very first chapter is literally natalie calling her uh her father, her biological father, to tell him that she murdered somebody. That she's, or not that she murdered somebody, but that she's in jail for murder. Okay. So that chapter got me, okay? That very beginning, it got me. And I'm just like, I have to stick around and find out what happens. Who does she murder? <laughs> Did she murder somebody? Um, like, shit. <laughs> so I had to just go on with this knowing he's cheating she doesn't know he's cheating but he's cheating and I hate that I hate that so much so by the end 
when I finally got to the revelations and everything, I was just like, well, this is over. Two stars. Um, I kind of called the ending, like, the, you know, the revelation and everything. I'm not going to say whatever. You guys can read it and find out if, you know, like, if it's something you're into. I know I really don't like cheating. It's a hard pass for me. It really is. And I, t I say this with, like... I am literally getting books about cheating all month. Uh, I think like every week I've had a book about cheating. And it's just, it's not something I enjoy. It's not something that like I feel comfortable with. So it's a hard pass for me. If it's something like that you can get through, that you can read, and you just like want the drama and stuff, like I understand that. I totally do. So it might really, it might be something you like. Um, you know, it might be something you really enjoy. This just isn't for me. So that's why I gave it two stars. And the, those dogs don't shut up. Okay. I, I guess I can talk now. Okay, so the two books that I'm reading. Archangel's Shadows by Nalini Singh. I'm finally reading this. <laughs> of course, I have a couple of days left, but I'm finally reading this. I am 129 pages in, chapter 17. Uh, I started listening to an audiobook, but I've decided that I, I really just want to read it physically. The audiobook, the narrator has this accent that sometimes I, I don't really understand what they're saying well. And if I'm not like physically reading along with it, it's kind of hard for me. So I decided to just skip the audiobook and then just read it physically. I am enjoying it. Uh, we're following Ash and uh, jean -Vier. Ash is um, a vampire hunter and jean Vier is a vampire, but um, <laughs> uh, they work together to solve what's happening right now. Um, like, there was an animal death and then a woman drained of blood completely and they think they know what's going on, but who knows if that's actually going on, like happening. But we also get to see some of Elena and Raphael uh, Dimitri and Honor, like, I'm getting to see all my characters, and I'm getting to learn a little bit more of other characters, which I'm really excited about, uh, like, Nasir, okay, I knew nothing of Nasir, but now I kind of do, and I kind of like him, and before, I really didn't care for him, to be honest, I didn't really care for jean Vier either, but now I'm kind of really liking jean Vier, and I'm really liking Nasir, and I really like Ash. So, I mean, I'm having a good time. Again, I'm only like 130 pages in. So, I still have quite a bit left. But, um, I'm hoping to finish it in the next couple of days before the, you know, the end of the month. Then, lastly, I'm reading Damsel by Elena K. Arnold. Okay, I say I'm reading, but I'm on the first page. I literally just started it. Uh, I've started the audiobook, but I only listened to a little bit to kind of sample it before... I stopped listening, but I am definitely going to go on. It's it's kind of short. It's only like, okay, yeah, it's a little over 300 pages. That's not bad. I think I can like read and listen, but also listen to it when I'm doing stuff as well. That was my issue with this one. If I wanted to like pick up some stuff around the house or drive to go pick up, you know, my mom from work or something, I couldn't really listen to this because sometimes I like really can't understand what they're saying. But when I started listening to this, I can understand the narrator and I like the narrator so far. So, yeah. Uh, we'll see how this goes. This one, it's literally just about like a damsel in a castle surrounded by a dragon or something. And a prince comes and saves uh, Ama is her name. And um, things are not as they seem, pretty much. So, yeah. These are the two I'm reading and hopefully we'll be finishing by the end of the month so that I can wrap up my owls and wrap up my month. Um, the only book then that I wouldn't have gotten to that was on my original TBR is Of Curses and Kisses and that's fine. I'm going to read that probably in June maybe. Just some other time, um, you know, when I'm not kind of like stressed for time and have a pretty big TBR say that and then I'll make a new big TBR with it on it but still um but yeah I'm really happy with my reading so far if I can finish these two books I'll have 18 books for the month or 18 things read for the month which I'm really excited about 
Um, I actually might be able to make it 19. I do have a couple short novellas that I could pick up in the, um, you know, in the Dark Hunter world that I just could finish that bind up completely. We'll see. I might do that. I might pick up Fence Volume 3. I have a lot of things I want to do and I have two days. <laughs> like literally Thursday is the end of the month and it's Tuesday. So we'll see. So yeah, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again with another. Bye, happy reading and stay safe.